Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, just thought I'd do a quick little uh, video. Got some grab handles that I picked up at Four Wheel Parts the other day, uh, putting them on my new Jeep to me. Uh, it's a 2009 Wrangler JKU. Um, let's get into this. Stay tuned. is a set of smitty built aluminum handles uh, got the the front one over here and the rear over here got these from the four-wheel drive parts um, here locally to me these fit all 2007 to 2018 uh, JK Wrangler two and four doors uh, like I said they're aluminum let's uh, we'll get these things opened up I wanted to do a set of these a little easier to get inside of the Jeep um, it's got a little lift on it, four inch lift, but we have these uh, these handles here. Those are more for hanging on to. I mean, I'm a I'm a bigger guy, so I need a little bit more brace. But these here, they'll go on the front A pillars, both sides, and then the rear ones will utilize these bolts here in your uh, your speaker uh, pod deal. So we'll get these opened up and take a look, and see what's in them. We've got some tools over here and we'll get these things installed all right front handle so here's the back of the box um you know it's it's sold in pairs you know added support for entry and exiting your jeep no drilling just a couple of bolts and a 400 pound max load limit so that'll definitely fit me I'm sure it'll fit most everybody out there getting into these jeeps but let's get her opened up and check out and see what's in them hopefully you guys can see this all right so very nicely packaged got your instructions here nice clear colored tells you what bolts to take out and those are nice instructions if you want to follow them anyhow there's the packaging got both grab handles Got some uh, bushings that go in between your plastics, and these are also aluminum. I don't know if let's grab a bowl here. So, very nice setup. You see here the handles. They are marked uh, top of each one of which side goes where. If you guys can see that, all right. I don't know. There you go. It looks a little better. That way you know where they go. But so utilize this bracket. And this one here, um, very nice, very nice, very smooth, no jagged edges. Pretty stoked about them. So there's the front, and then let's pop open the back ones and check those out. Like I said, these things were a pretty good deal as I bought them. I mean, they were a little more for the front, but most people buy the front. So I think those were 69 or 79 for the front 69 for the rear but here's part numbers if you want you know a set for your jeep so that's the back and that's the front there let's get this one opened up here i don't know if you're like me i was looking on some youtube the other night and just trying to get more information on them. Check them out. There's a few other videos out there, but here's the rear. Got nice colored, detailed instructions. Don't want to bore you with those. And then there's the rear. Have all your bushings there. Your you know your adapters to go into, make up the space. But very nice set. See if these are labeled yep these are labeled as well but very nice completely solid heck yeah all right i won't bore you with any more let's uh let's get to the install check it out so first things first we have a bolt here and we have the bolt up top here 
I checked it, it was a 13 millimeter. Let's see if we can get these undone here. Oh, that one wasn't even tight. Perfect. Somebody probably already had a set on here before I even got the rig. You'll want to watch out for the glass though. Um, everybody knows these Jeeps, they'll end up breaking real easy. But you don't want to nail it with your ratchet. Alright, pull her out, nice long bolt, 13 millimeter, and the top, that one's tight, not going to get lucky twice. And second bolt. Got a 3 16 Allen. Let me get this top one up here first. Yeah, I think it's actually a metric Allen. This one's kind of moving around a little bit in there when you go to get her tighten down so I'll find the right one that way I'm not misinforming you guys on which is which but let's see here maybe it's just me I don't know 316 is working just fine <clears throat> there it is nice and tight we'll get the other one on and start getting on the back just like that both sides are on nice and sturdy really really simple install I mean anybody that's got a 13 millimeter and a 316 Allen wrench can put these on that'll definitely make it uh, a little easier to get in and out of nice grab handle now we'll get started on the back like I say we got two bolts here two bolts on the other side we'll get those ones on Get this off um, went through and double checked and I fibbed to you guys at the beginning of the video it's actually 10 millimeter I said it was 13 that's what I get for guessing but it fits in here nice you just have these two bolts one here one here to hold your sound bar on get those taken out very simple job anybody like I said anybody can do this as long as you have just a couple of sockets and uh allen wrench you'll be good to go this is like a one out of ten on the you know scale for installing something if you're any kind of jeep owner you know you're going to be working on them anyway so you'll get used to them they're all fun right I know I'm gonna get some grief in the comments from Toyota owners it's all fun and games we all have our quirks you know but anyway got the uh, right hand one for the passenger side bolt on here two bolts 10 millimeter and our two spacers nice aluminum we'll get the front one on Set your spacer on top, pull through, get that set up in there. Let that hang down for a minute. I'm gonna get the other one. Finally cooling down. My favorite time of year is fall. Get her tightened down with the same 3 16 Get it 
it just a little bit snug so that way you can go through and straighten out your spacer blocks. Got to have them looking good. Those nice and straight. Cinch them down. There it is, nice and tight. We'll get the other side on and I'll show you. There it is, got all four on. Took me 20 minutes maybe, max. You know, that's with the video in and everything, but front and rear, both those all on. Now we got some good uh, sturdy grab handles for, you know, 100 and, I think I got 140 bucks in all four of them, which isn't bad. Not bad at all so that's it guys i really hope you guys liked it um trying to do some more videos on here i know i haven't been on here for a while but if you want to see anything else on my jeep or have questions leave them down in the comment section hit the subscribe button and uh you know appreciate you guys coming by take care